Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace uh, brake pads on a YZ250F or WR450F or most of the dirt bikes. Um, first, you're going to need a number 10. In my case, your bike might have a different kind of size. And then you take these two bolts out. This holds the brake caliper in place on the brake disc. So you take these two bolts out. Don't lose them. Very important bolts. The brake caliper will come off. You're going to need a flathead to remove this bolt over here at the bottom. This is just a cover cap, so it should be not, not too tight. It shouldn't be too tight. This comes off, and then with an Allen wrench, I'm gonna remove this bolt over here that holds the uh, pads together. No, this one is sometimes a little bit tight. Okay, when you take it out, there's a little metal clamp over here. You want to make sure you don't lose that one. And there's another metal clamp here on the top as a guide for the brake pads. So make sure you get those out. Before you take this bolt out, I like to use a screwdriver to separate the brake pads as much as I can. Push them all the way in. Push them all the way in. You'll see why. Because the new ones, the new ones are always thicker. And because they are thicker, they need more room to get in here, so you're going to have a hard time getting them together. So once you separate them, you remove this bolt, this bolt comes out. It's a special bolt, don't lose it. And then the brake pads will literally just literally slide out. That's why I said be careful about these little tabs, you can see this one is about to come off. And then if you don't know how to put it back in the right way, you could have some trouble, you know, trying to figure out which, which part goes in. If somehow it comes out, there's a little slot over here. This slot has to line up with this slot, so just keep that in mind. These are the new brake pads, as you can see. Mine still had some meat on them, so I'm going to save these just for the hell of it. I got this uh, softer ones that will get eaten up a little bit more faster, but then they will not damage the disc brake that much, and uh, it's a little bit better for me, if you really ask me. But as I said, they're a little bit thicker, so... <laughs> My tab just fell off, the one I was just telling you about. I'm going to put it back into place. Always inspect the brake caliper, make sure there's like no rope or like bungee cord or something that got stuck in here or like debris or stuff that was not supposed to be in here. So brake pads can only go one way in. Remember they have to follow the disc, so in my case this is the bottom part. So this is the bottom one. It's going to go into this little place and line up over here and then this other one is going to go on top and line up over here. See, that's why we spread them out because they can barely fit in there. And now this bolt will go from the top from where you took it out. You have to push on the brake pads a little bit so they line up with the bolt. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Okay, so right now it went both through both of them. Make sure that it doesn't come out on this side. Make sure that the tab stays in place. And now, all you have to do is just crank it up. And give it a nice nudge. There it is, you wanna make sure it doesn't come off. Now here's the critical part. Because if you don't do it, it's not gonna work out. You have to use a screwdriver and spread them even more. Why you have to do that is because the disc brake has to go in between them. Okay, this is as much as it goes. Be careful not to damage the brake pad. Uh, it's very, very important. So don't, don't push them too hard. And then this, this brake should slide in between them. So they just slide in between them right now, easy. And then you put your bolts back in place. This is the top bolt. They're the same side. There is no top and bottom. But one goes on top, one goes on the bottom. And with a socket wrench, just get them tight. Not super tight, but like hand tight. Not finger tight, but not like foot tight. Like people go crazy sometimes. So just hand tight, the short wrench like I have, you can't really break them. And don't forget to put your cap back on. This little cap came from here, from the bottom. So this cap goes back in. And then 
give it a nice nudge and you should be good to go.